I'm sitting here with the Lenovo ThinkPad Edge E530 laptop. It's a new release from Lenovo. It's one of the first in the, uh, the new series uh, coming out this year for ThinkPads. Um, that said, it actually does not have the latest Intel Ivy Bridge processors. This is still equipped with the uh, last generation uh, Core i3 Sandy Bridge processor. Um, that helped keep the price down. This particular model I picked up for around 550 bucks. Uh, which is it's a very reasonable price because you get all the ThinkPad build quality and as you can see here You have uh, the track point and the uh, typical ultra nav um, uh, Tools and you also get a number pad with the e530 due to its size uh, The resolution on the screen here is 1600 by 900 uh, So that's uh, pretty nice um, As far as ports go we'll take a quick tour around the sides here um, this is the left side we're looking at here, and you get a uh, monitor out port, then you get just a regular USB 2.0 port, then an HDMI port, and then a couple of USB 3.0 ports. So you rotate around onto the right side, actually before that, we'll take a look at the front where you actually get an SD card slot there on the front part of the laptop. Uh, I will mention that the Express card that you got on the E420 and E520 is now gone from this model. So that may uh, dissuade some. For most, I don't think uh, will matter. Um, uh, we have a headphone port, and then we have a powered USB 2.0 port, and then the optical drive, in this case, is a DVD burner. Uh, just pop that like that. And then you have your Ethernet port, and of course, you can see here, that's the power jack. Uh, as far as design goes, it looks much like your regular ThinkPad, uh, although it has a chiclet-style design for the keyboard, uh, which is a little different to typical, but rumor has it we'll be seeing more of down the road. Uh, on the lid, it's an all matte black finish, and you have the ThinkPad logo, and it has a little light there on top of the eye that illuminates when the ThinkPad is actually powered on. Uh, so if you stay tuned to laptopreviews.com, we'll have a full review of the E530 coming up.